I told you I was going to show, show you how we make our eggs when we make them for the week. Start doing your part here. We, um, I do his where the yolks are still together because he doesn't care if he gets a little bit of runny yolk. I do not like runny yolk a little bit, so I scramble mine. We're going to make some with asparagus today, some with some green onion and cheese, some with mushroom and some with some goat cheese. So I'm going to start chopping stuff up. You want to set your oven on 350 and you want to grease your cups so that um and yes I know I have no knife skills y'all Asparagus into about a quarter of an inch pieces. Um, in the baking process, they tenderize really nice in the eggs. Um, so I just do little pieces. I got some mushrooms. I'm guessing a lot of them have been mushrooms. We have a lot of mushrooms here. every day just saying not much else has changed still working out still eating right at least that's why you guys get some food prep ideas I feel like we have to cook these mushrooms up in something else tonight maybe just ooh, make up some fried mushrooms or something because there's a lot of mushrooms <laughs> I just kind of mix for the regular thing it says to use about eight um, since we're gonna make a mixture of different things I'm not gonna be real particular on that and the next one we'll put a little bit of green onion in there get out of that one Let's make a little bit of variety too. Um, just have the same thing every day. We're not putting bacon in them this time. So we're just gonna try something different new. These are vegan shreds, so it's vegan cheese. That base cheese, I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. That's 80 calories for an ounce and I'm using like maybe an eighth of an ounce in each one so it's nominal for calories okay can you take that the dead eggs dead eggs okay so now we're gonna stick some mushrooms we do like eight of these with mushrooms we got a lot of mushrooms I cut I really love mushrooms in my food. Um, so this should be pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around. Okay. I'm just gonna stick a little piece of goat cheese. And these, get a little more goat cheese here. Can you get me that butter knife instead of me using a sharp knife? So we set the oven on 350. We're gonna bake them for, I believe it's, is it 20 minutes? 15 to 17 minutes. 15 to 17 minutes. 
I think last time we had to go to 20 because they weren't quite done. So you just kind of want to be able to like stick a toothpick in like the especially the scrambled ones just to verify they're cooked all the way through. Grab some of this goat cheese, stick it in there. That should melt up real nicely. Now, if I recall correctly, goat cheese tends to be a little salty. So I'm not going to really add too much salt to the goat cheese. Do you want more goat cheese in yours? Probably. He's not watching his calories like I am, so if he want, yeah. I was like, I'm the one on the diet, and he's the one whose pants are falling off. Seems fair, doesn't it, ladies? Can you put that in the clock, please? Thanks, babe. All right, so for the rest of these that don't have the goat cheese, like I said, goat cheese tends for me to be a little bit salty, so I don't want to put extra salt and have it be super, super salty. So I'm just going to put some seasonings in these other ones. Um, I put the salt in my yanks. I want to know how much salt is going in. Um, that just makes it better. I just put a pinch. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. It doesn't need much. Um, a little silk, salt goes a long way in this recipe. Okay. And the pepper. Now the pepper, I'll put pepper in all of them because pepper is a good thing. The pepper we got, the goat cheese we got was, um, what was it, Sergeant Pepper? Ooh. No. What would happen if we stuck like a squirt of sriracha Sergeant, in one of these? Sergeant Pepper. Yeah. So it's supposed to be spicy. Okay, so that's in there. Um, it says fresh goat milk cheese with chilies. Curry and Carissa. Put a little bit of paprika. Mm -hmm. A little paprika in some of these. Maybe this one. Get a little bit of smoky flavor. I don't do a lot. I just kind of let it tap in just a tiny bit. And then all right so these will go in the oven they will kick, cook for 15 to 20 minutes based on waiting for them to be done and then when they're done we will pop them out and show you the finished product thanks hey guys so here is our finished eggs um these are the ones that have are not scrambled and these are the scrambled ones they kind of fluffed up really nicely. And what we're going to do is let them cool. Then we're going to put two of each kind in a bag and put them in our refrigerator. In the morning, we microwave them for like 30 seconds in the microwave in the bag, and breakfast is done. Really quick and easy way to have a quick breakfast in the morning that's healthy. Thanks for watching. Bye.